Hi guys and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. So today we're going to be learning how to build this basketball court. Um, so I'm using LD Modern which I do actually have a basketball net in there but I'll be going over uh, the other kind of things as well. Uh, the reason I've used this is because when you do throw a block in it, it takes a while to go through. So if you actually do, for example, actually go... Okay, I can't do it. <laughs> but if you do just about get it, you know, in there it then will kind of fall out straight away, so you can kind of do it as a, a kind of false one, uh, in a way. Um, but there is loads of different variations you can use. You can use hoppers and uh, iron bars and all that kind of stuff. Um, so what does it look like in default at the minute anyway? Uh, this will look a little bit odd, but we'll just switch over. So there you go, as I was saying, it will look a little bit odd, mainly because I've used the iron uh, blocks down here. Um, but you can see I've used a cobweb there, and it's just a, a variation on it. It's really, really simple, um, so I'm just going to switch back to my texture pack uh, right now. There we go, I'll do modern. And let's get started, it's super easy. So first thing I'm going to do is just going to make the frame. Uh, with this this design as well, you can just connect them together uh, if you wanted to. Uh, just using this as a kind of common common fence. Uh, so you can kind of you know make like four of them if you wanted to really easily. What we're going to do is if we just place down one block of... And what's happened to my all of my blocks? Let's have a look. Okay, I need to grab the actual blocks. We got grey wool. Uh, I'm actually going to make my main one out of birch, as if it's an indoor one. Uh, so there we go, grey. Um, got birch. We're also going to need quartz as well, or something like white wool will work as well. I just use quartz. I prefer it in my my pack. So we're going to go 33 blocks long. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three blocks like that. Now wide, we're going to have a total of nineteen. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. So it's quite it's quite big. Um, but what I do mean by 19 is if you actually pl place them on top, you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 is that. So it's kind of like 19 showing on the side. Uh, but what we can do now is just box it off, basically. Uh, so we can just kind of cut through this until we it kind of intersects with the other one as well. So if we just start in here, putting that in. There we go, I'm joining this up here like that, and then move it across as well. And put in this floor. And join there. And now what we're gonna do is just build another ring on the inside, just of this grey wall. Because uh, we're going to have one of them, which is basically got the fence on it, and the other one will basically be so that you can have a little bit of a walking around thing. It just looked better, it framed it a lot better. Uh, it meant that it was slightly bigger, but it just looked better in general, so that's why I put that in. So if we just do this, and there we go, go around to this side. And join this across as well. There's a lot of <laughs> it's quite a big, big space, but at least it's simple. So there we go, we have this. And that should do it. For the grey wall part, that'll give us a kind of ring. Now all you need to do is just grab your quartz, and the next layer is just going to be outlining this inside part with quartz. Don't worry, it gets kind of uh, less time consuming the more we do of it, as it keeps on getting smaller every single time. So I'm just going to cut through this. Right here. And make your way around, and I'm just going to fill it in, like this. Without missing too many blocks, there we go. There, and I've got a couple extras to go in there. So then, that will give you the kind of main uh, kind of square in a way. Now you need to find your center. Uh, for me, at least, this is really easy. Uh, but I'll just count how many blocks it is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So you've got a 13 block gap. And that'll be there. So you should have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There you go. So it'll work out there. Just join this straight across. 
So like that. And go all the way across. Now if you find the centre of this centre in a way, um, which is kind of one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, two, three, four, five, six. So I've got six blocks on each side. That'll be your kind of centre block. Uh, what we're actually going to do is if we leave a block and then go to the next one, now I'm just going to make this one a three here. Oh, not that one. So we've got this here. And then we're going to have three blocks here. And this makes the centre part. This is a like super oversized. Um, but it's the only way we can really get it to kind of stand out, I guess. Okay, and then if you come to any of the sides, what we're going to do is just go into here and go one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to go one, one. And I think it's a five as well across that part. One, 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 two, three, four, five, like that. That'll give us that ring. And we'll also do it on the other side as well. One, two, three, four, five. One, 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 two, three, four, five. One, 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 two, three, four, five, like that. There. And then for the extra little bit, what we're going to do is if you find the centre line, just look down here. And we're just going to go over two blocks. So, I actually might show you guys this. So we've got that one there, you're going to go one, two, and this is the one you're going to go on. So you've got one, two, three, four, five. And you're going to have three here. Like that. Hopefully that makes sense. You've got this kind of three blocks of uh, kind of normal stuff in here. Also, just going to go back one block and just put in a line there. It's on the other side as well. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, three going across. Put in those. And connect those in like that. Now we just need to choose an actual colour for this. Uh, I'm actually just going to use World Edit to kind of speed up this. I'm just going to go into here and. Select over here. Now you could do it in like orange wool, you can do it in a grey. Uh, I did it in a kind of the iron block here to kind of make it look a little bit differently. Um, but obviously if you're going to have an inside one, what you'll do is have something like birch wool I would recommend. So if we're going to go two and then we're going to go five. And this will try and... Yeah, we do remember that. There we go. And we'll just do this up. So that's come up ridiculously bright in the texture pack. I'm actually just going to change that to normal. I'll just do undo. We we'll just do like this. Grab that, and we're just going to do normal five. Actually, there we go. Actually, that did work quite a little bit better. So we got just the oak wood going onto this part. Uh, so it's more of an indoor one, but you can see how it kind of works either way. Uh, so now what we'll do is we're going to grab the main materials for this part. We're going to need a cobblestone wool, and in my text pack we do have a metastator for a metallic one, so I've used that, but it doesn't really matter. Also, grey wool, a block of quartz. Some sort of cobweb or something like that. Um, I mean, I'll go through the variations anyway. If we just find the back of this, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Uh, now, if you are using my texture pack, what you'll actually be doing if I actually get rid of that cobble wall uh, and show you guys. So you'll need connected textures and also uh, you also need a world edit or something like that. But it is RIPL1392 is actually the iron texture of it. So you can actually just use that. And then what we're going to do, actually I'm just going to have to double check this size here. Pretty sure it's five. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. There you go. Yeah, it is. Uh, you're just going to add a grey piece of wool on the front of this and then add quartz onto the side parts. And that will just be the kind of centre part. Now you can put in a cobweb here. Um, you can also use, uh, let's find the iron bars somewhere. Iron bars. So I select those. And there. Yeah, cool. Uh, now mine, mine's a little bit weird, it's kind of like, doesn't exist. There. Okay, there we go, so that'll give you an iron bars, that's one way to do it. As well, I find that this one's a bit too chunky. Um, put that in there, if I just get rid of these. Uh, what else do we have? We have got a hopper as well. There we go, the hopper is also kind of quite, kind of used a lot as well. So you just connect it into there. It's kind of like a basket. This one, you'll probably want to lower if you're going to use the hopper because you can't uh, jump in, but when you do throw something into it, obviously it disappears uh, into the hopper. Um, but yeah, you will want to lower this by one if you're going to use that because it's stupidly difficult to actually get something into it, if that makes any sense. Uh, now, if you do have my texture pack and you want to get the actual uh, block that we've got for this, what it is is uh, if you do REPL or set, that's why you can do that. It's just 30 and 11, which will give you the actual basket itself, which is quite nice. 
So then obviously we'll just build it on the other side as well. I think I've got... I'm just going to grab that one because you can grab the cobweb, uh, cob, couple of walls. And I'm just going to go one, two, one, two, three, three, four, five. That's a great piece of wall on the front. Add these onto the sides. Change this one in here and there we go, that was it. So you can see how quick it actually is. Uh, if we just clear down these. What we're going to do now is grab stone bricks and a stone brick slab. You can also grab your iron fence as well. Um, what I'm going to do is I'll use world edit and I'll show you how guys how to use that to speed through this part. But you can go just in these corners, one, two, three, and four. Then add a stone brick slab on the top. And other corner, one, two, three, four. Stone brick slab on top. Now find the center line, do the same, one, two, three, four. And put that on top. One, two, three, four. Put that on top. Now you could just leave this open if you wanted to as well. It's kind of up to you. Oh, did I go too far? I did go too high, I think, on that one. There you go. Yeah, you can, if you want to, just leave it open. If you've got a stadium, obviously, you'll, you'll actually be leaving it open and building stuff around it. Uh, so then, if you grab your iron bars, uh, and you can put these just going across, uh, what I'll do, again, I'll, I'll just kind of, in a way, cheat. <laughs> if you just you can select these two areas here, and we can do... Uh, I'm just going to replace the air, which is zero. I'm gonna replace that with 101. Two, which is uh, one of my metadata that I've got in in the actual pack, and that's this kind of large cha uh, chain. So there we go. Put some up there and do the same. Not like that. There we go. And down here. I just realised I've missed out the entire thing. Post. I'll just put that in a second. So I'm going to put this in here. And I'll just do cell. There we go. So I need to grab the other two. There we go. Grab that. And then switch this out. Like that. Um, now, if you are going to make an entrance for it, all you need to do is just cut out a couple of blocks. I actually advise cutting out three of them. At least going upwards. Uh, it'll give you this kind of bigger gap because of the way the iron bars work. Um, but that's pretty much it um, for a basketball court. Pretty cool. Uh, I almost got it there. <laughs> It is pretty cool. Uh, you know, you can kind of, in a way, do like a mini game, uh, sort of. There you go. You can just about get it in on, on this kind of height. Uh, but hopefully, you guys have enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, if you have, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one.